And this is going to mean, you know, the prevention of the closure of literally hundreds of businesses across BC. We can restart the flow of goods to industry, stop the damage, and people can get back to work. A sigh of relief for alcohol and cannabis shops, restaurants and bars. Picket lines at distribution centres like this one in Richmond have come down as the BC GEU pauses strike action. But empty shelves and drawers won't be refilled overnight. We would like to know what the LDB's plan is in terms of rolling out distribution. Juana Capilano is president and co-founder of Eggs Canna. Her stores are temporarily closed after running out of cannabis stock because of the strike. The BC General Employees Union said Tuesday it's standing down job action after two weeks, a sign of good faith after progress was made at the bargaining table with the BC Public Service Agency. City News asked the liquor distribution branch how the resumption of distribution will look like, but did not hear back. And even though it has come to an end for now, Cap Plano says she doesn't know when she can expect products to arrive. We do need the LDB to communicate with us what that looks like. Will there be a queue in terms of the stores that had missed their initial delivery? Uh, will they be prioritized because some stores did get a delivery just before the strike, others didn't? I'm anticipating, you know, no more than a week before we start seeing product flowing again. It will take several weeks to restore the flow of goods. Uh, we have 9,000 licensed locations around the, the province, some liquor stores with empty shelves, cannabis stores with empty shelves, hospitality with their cocktail menus depleted. It's going to take weeks for all that to get it back up and running. Capilano is planning to reopen her stores in the coming days, but she's not waiting for the supply chain to get back up and running. She's ordering through the direct-to-retail program, which recently launched. Retailers can buy direct directly from BC-based Indigenous and small-scale producers, and she'd like to see it expanded in case there's a disruption again. That has been a lifeline, although only 47 SKUs were available. That was still enough for us to start to prepare to open our stores. That program is amazing. It should be expanded. It, I think it's critical to the diversity of our supply chain. The BCGEU, which represents 33,000 members, was previously offered an 11% wage hike over the next three years. But given the cost of living, the union said that wasn't enough. In Richmond, Monica Gould, City News.